Have you ever thought of your friend turning to be your greatest enemy, further leading to your assassination? This is the story of Thomas Sankara and Blaise Compaore. Thomas Sankara, also referred to as African Che Guevara, was born in Yako, Upper Volta, the modern-day Burkina Faso, in 1949. He attended military schools in Madagascar and graduated in 1977. He then went on to serve in the military in various capacities. In 1983, Sankara was appointed the Prime Minister of Upper Volta by President Jean Baptiste Odrago. He quickly became popular among the people due to his progressive policy and charisma. In August 1983, Sankara led a successful coup against Odrago and declared Upper Volta to be the People's Republic of Burkina Faso. He became president at the age of 33. He improved healthcare and education, distributed land, and worked to empower women. He also sought to reduce corruption and improve the country's infrastructure. He was a vocal opponent of imperialism and foreign aid. Sankara encouraged the people of Burkina Faso to put on traditional tunic woven from Burkina Bay cotton and made by local tailors. In 1984, he called on African countries to boycott the Summer Olympic in Los Angeles. In October 1987, Sankara was assassinated in a coup by his former comrade, Blaise Kumpaore. Kumpaore reversed many of the Sankara's progressive policies and ruled Burkina Faso for 27 years. Do you know that you can be killed, but your legacy lives on? Sankara's legacy lives on in Burkina Faso and his name is invoked in the struggle for social justice and economic independence. He is remembered as a revolutionary leader and a symbol of the country's fight for freedom. Sankara has been posthumously honored for his leadership and commitment to social justice. In Burkina Faso, he is remembered as a national hero and a symbol of the country's fight for freedom. The United Nations declared October 15th as the International Thomas Sankara Day in 2009. This is the story of Thomas Sankara.